My name is Eli, and um, I'm an addict. 22-year-old Eli Lazakis mourned the loss of his second friend to heroin last April. Now the young man who was a beacon of hope for recovering addicts is dead of an overdose. Six months ago, at the funeral for James Gillum and Allen, Lazakis urged teenagers to kick heroin. I just want to let y'all know, everybody that's out there that's struggling with this problem, and uh, it's a very, it's a disease, and uh, if you don't get help for your disease, you're going to die. For James Gillum's father, Tom, it's as if a second son has died. He says last week, Lazakis was supporting a 16-year-old overdose victim to get clean. Well, we thought that he was on his way to uh, to be in one of these success stories. Um, if there was ever somebody that we wanted to be a poster child, it would have been Eli. Lazakis tried to help others by sharing his story in a News 8 Family First Town meeting last May. He said drugs were too easy to get and an empty refuge for a lack of self-esteem. Lazakis had nearly died from a heroin overdose. The thing is, you make that choice, and some people do, and one time is too many, you know? And you don't come back sometimes. And I'm very lucky that I have. Lazakis appeared to be saying and doing all the right things. He finished rehab, got a job, and started college. If Lazakis could kick heroin, then there was hope for others. It strikes terror into my heart. Nancy Griffin worries if her son will have the strength to resist heroin when he gets out of a drug treatment prison. We have to put something in place now. This has to become a number one priority for us, to have somewhere that these kids can go and say, I'm really struggling, I don't know if I can make it be there for me. Lazakis was there for others. At the family first meeting, his mother said she had never been so proud. Now family and friends are shocked at how quickly heroin took all of that away. Robert Riggs, Channel 8 News.